Hello everyone. My name is Aman Kalra and I welcome you back to the YouTube series Getting Started with Loop. In the previous video, we understood on how to authenticate ourselves. I would highly suggest to watch that video first. In today's video, we'll understand on how to create a first tunnel using the Loopable desktop version. So, let's begin. Over here, I have a demo project that currently runs on my localhost 8000. It's a Gatsby static website and I would like to tunnel this. I'll also share the link of this demo code in the description below. Once the build is completed, I can see that my website runs on localhost 8000. It is fun to see how modern websites have become very friendly and dynamic. For us to tunnel this, all we have to do is let Loophole know which port the site is running on and it would do its magic. Let's head over to the GUI and enter the port 8000. Here we can see that Loophole provides a custom host name which would take in the form test my website. Do you wish to add additional authentication to your website? Loophole provides you an authentication option as well. For now, click Submit. Ah, oh, great. Our website is now live and running on this URL. You can also use the QR code to share it with others. This is ideal when you're hosting a feedback form or a form that you want to fill on the go. Let us now understand what happens if we make changes in my local host. Let's go back to Visual Studio and I will add a new line of text here. I am updating it on the go. As you can see, loophole points to port 8000 and every time there's a change, it cascades the change to the URL right away. Now, that I'm done with the purpose of my tunnels, I can go back to the GUI app and stop the tunnel. Let's see what happens to the link. It errors out. So it is confirmed that my tunnels have now been stopped. For other tricks and tips on how to use loophole, visit loophole.cloud. You can scroll through different blogs that will help you set up your basic functionality of loophole or read through a documentation on how to initiate your own first tunnel. Until then, happy coding. Thank you and have a great time ahead.